Hey Skellies, it's Sim Skeleton. This is episode 10 of my Rags to Riches series. Sorry it's been a while since I've done an episode. Sometimes it takes me a bit to get motivated to even play. Um, you've probably noticed I've been doing a lot of builds lately and that's just, it's just what I've been into lately. So actually playing the game is kind of, it takes a bit for me. But here we are with episode 10. I'm having Caleb fish right now so that he can make some plasma packs um, since plasma packs are pretty expensive. They're like 50 simoleons each. Who's this little guy? A girl? Lily? Aww. Little stray eating the fish. That's cute. Anyway, yeah, they don't have much money for plasma packs so if he could just fish for some that'll make it a little easier. Aww, she's trying to get his attention. Hello. All right, he finally caught something, but I think that cat ran away. I think I'm gonna have him go catch up to her. Go give her some attention. Find her? Oh, yeah. Cute little kitty. Play with a laser pointer. Yeah. Oh. Did that lady just walk on the cat? Ugh. What's wrong? Oh, sad baby. She wants a clean litter box. Aw, let's 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 get you one. Bring you home and. Can I adopt her? I think we're gonna adopt this cat. He's gonna pick her up. I'm gonna see if he can just bring her to his house. Like, while he's holding her. Aww. <gasps> They're friends! That's cool. Yeah, I'm gonna have him vampirically run here. <laughs> to see if he can hold the cat and run at the same time. I'm sure he can. Yeah, he's holding her. <gasps> Yay! She's in the house. Oh, and this whole time Madeline has been at work, just so you know. I think I'm gonna put a cat bed, like in the bedroom here. I put a litter box by the front door and I put a, a food bowl kind of by the front door too. There, I put some toys out too, kind of by that back door on that rug. Let's see. Oh, I can adopt her now. I will do that. Yes, I do. Okay. Oh, so I can rename her? No, I like the name Lily. You know, his sister's name is Lilith. Nah, I don't care. Lily Vitor. So we got Lilith and Lily Vitor. That's so sweet. Yay! She's part of the family now. Aw. Yay, we have a cat. <laughs> Madeline's gonna come home. I'm sure she'll be happy, you know, that she has a new member of the family, but it's like, honey, what did you do while I was at work? <laughs> well, he went fishing and he got a kitty. Oh, I almost forgot I downloaded a mod that makes uh, pets selectable. It's pretty cool though, you can see their needs and everything. She looks like she's rough right now, but she's using the, the litter box, so it looks like bladder and bowel are going up. I've never seen bowel before. It's interesting. You know, I just realized that I put the food bowl next to the litter box. I'm going to put it in the dining room, because it's probably not a good idea. You don't want your food smelling like poo or tasting like poo. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> no. She's playing with her little squeaky ball now. <gasps> Aww, they're so cute. Look at her. She's all rubbing up on it. Oh, <laughs> she's batting it. <laughs> That's so cute. She's like all nice to it, and then she starts batting it. Yeah. Guess that's a cat for ya. So Caleb is getting this stuff from the garden and selling it. I'm surprised we're still getting harvestables from them. 
I mean, I guess it's still fall, but yeah. Uh, not right now. I think he has to go to work soon, so yeah. I'm sure she wants to meet the new cat. I mean, the cat is kind of like named after her. Not really. It already had the name Lily, but Lily and Lilith Fator. So he's at work now. Um, oh, we got a chance card thing. Cash shortage. Okay, so Caleb can't leave work um, because the cash register is short. So he either has to report his coworker or keep quiet. And he knows it wasn't him, so that's why it would be his coworker. I think I'm just going to do the right thing and report the coworker. I feel like bad, but it's the right thing, right? So we'll just do that. All right, he got a performance gain. Oh, she got a promotion. She's finally home from work. And she got sunflowers. A new outfit. What does that mean? I don't know. Cool. Look at the kitty. She's sleeping on her back. Her little belly's up. Oh, she's twitching. Oh, that is so cute. Aww. Look at her. That's so cute. Look at the belly. Let's look at the little toes. Oh, she's kicking. Oh, cute little squish beans. Look at those little toes. Look at those little toes. A little baby hand. Look at it. Just look at it. It's so cute. It's a little baby hand. Oh, how do I get out? Ugh, that's disturbing. Ew, what? Ugh, whoa! You can see your eyeballs. What the heck? Ah, how do I get out? Okay. <laughs> whoa! I just went into first person mode. <laughs> She's painting. Or am I painting? <laughs> First person mode is so fun. <laughs> I just started like messing around with it like not too long ago. And it's like you do different things and whoa. I'm like spinning around her head. Ah. You can see like down into her hollow body. That's just creepy. Oh my gosh, this is like the creepiest episode. What the heck? Well, I think she's done with her uh there we go. I think she's done with her painting. First person mode, petting a cat. Here we go. Hey, little kitty. Good little girl, huh? Ah. She's walking around. She's gonna clean up the litter box. Okay. She's looking around. Oh! She didn't have ad for a second. I swear, this is the creepiest episode. Like, you know, my stuff is pretty family friendly. But <laughs> this is like as creepy as it gets. <laughs> oh no, the kitty's scared. What is up with the pets in The Sims not liking electronics? Can someone please explain that? I don't get it. Like, my dog in real life? No problem with electronics. So why are all the sim cats and dogs freaking out all the time? Alright, let's burn this track so your label can be happy. Oh, what do we want to name this one? Alright, I'm naming it Dag Dag in Drag. I don't know, I always tend to use like something sim related, like simlish or something. And then something that rhymes. So Dag Dag and Drag for that one. I'm gonna have Madeline get to know Lily because Caleb knows her decently well. But yeah. Hey! That's so cute! She's looking at us. I love first person mode. It can make you dizzy and it can be pretty weird, but it can be pretty cool too. They're singing for tips in Del Sol Valley. So they can make a little bit of money that way. She just jumped up onto the fridge. Pet obsessions. She 
get obsessed with a fridge or something? Has it just jumped off? Girl! Eh. That's a cat for you, I guess. They're both painting now to make money. They're both doing this landscape painting, which I've never seen before. I've never seen that option before. I don't know what that was added with, but it's pretty cool. Um, I'm definitely going to keep the painting that Caleb just finished. It goes well into the living room with the blues and greens. Oh yeah, and I have a little cat scratching post there I put there too. I think it's cute. I'm going to actually put it on this, this wall because it's pretty bare. There. There. That looks good. I just remembered that they have these refillable uh, pet bowls, so I'm definitely buying that because I was just thinking like, I wonder if her pet bowl or her food bowl is empty, but it's not yet, but I was worried about it, so I don't have to worry as often with this refillable bowl. I don't really want to empty it because I feel like that'll waste it. I wish you could just empty the bowl into the other bowl. <laughs> oh, I really like that painting too. That's a cute watercolor. I'll have to hang that up somewhere too. Oh no, she's scratching the chair. I bought you a cat scratching pole. It's in the living room. Go scratch that, not the furniture. Girl, no. No, don't sell your painting now. You need to lecture your cat. Oh. Awesome. There we go, much better. That's what you're supposed to scratch. Now that you know it's there, is that all you're going to scratch? <laughs> I think I'm going to put his painting somewhere on this wall, because it's a pretty bare wall. Maybe right there. Yeah. I think I'm going to do first person on uh, Caleb as he's painting. Oh, you can see his hair. <gasps> it reminds me of that one meme. How emos see. He's playing with a laser with the cat. Aww. Oh, got another chance card thing. Grandfather portrait. Mm. So apparently her grandfather portrait is looking like an oatmeal cookie. So she keep painting or just rename it and call it done. Uh, keep painting. Oh, she gained some money from that. Some performance gain. Cool, so it actually turned out pretty well in the end. I just put those curtains above the bed. I just feel like it frames the bed well. I don't know, I always seem to do that. And then I also put a window in the dining room, an extra window that wasn't there before. Why does she always jump on the fridge? Courage to mate with? Ah, oh, there's a raccoon. No, she doesn't need to have any babies. I thought she didn't like electronics, though. Why is she jumping on the fridge? Are these ready to harvest yet? Oh, yeah, they are. <gasps> Yay! We can harvest for some money. I just realized I could evolve these plants into nicer plants. So I'm just doing that with as many as I can. Apparently because they've been taken care of well. Pretty cool. I wonder if their uh, harvestables will be like more expensive when when you sell them. Like you'll get more money out of it. So this must be the sunflower that she got from her promotion. I think I'm gonna just put it on the island there. I like that. That's nice. Ooh. So she's a prime vampire now. She's becoming more powerful. Okay, so she has learned everything she can from this book. So I think we're on volume three. So I guess we'll volume volume four. Oh, okay. I guess volume four is the ultimate vampire tome, the last one apparently. It was a thousand simoleons. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. Let's see, do we want to use up any of our PowerPoints? So these are the new things. And I have a feeling that if I don't select um, a weakness, then it won't let me uh, do the check mark, so I don't know. I've been saving up for the sun-resistant one, though. That's what I want to do. 
I think I'm just gonna wait. Uh-oh, who's this? Oh, this is her label. She needs to make a new track, otherwise they could get rid of her. Well, I guess we'll just make one now. All right, let's burn this track. What should we name it? Thin-skinned vampire, since that's like a weakness she could select. No way in heck I am going to select that one, because I want her to be as sun-resistant as possible. Lecture about jumping on counters. Oh, Landry, the loft. You're making them dirty. <laughs> she learned how to not jump on counters. Cool. We've lectured her a few other times about it, and sounds like it worked. I'm having them go around Oasis Springs finding stuff to mine and, like, dig so they can sell stuff. And then um, they're also finding some frogs so they can create, like, uh, plasma packs and breed the frogs to create more plasma packs. <laughs> so they're home now, and I just realized their whole yard is full of snow. It's so pretty. It's pretty in The Sims. I'm not so interested in real life. <laughs> I mean, it is pretty in real life. I just don't like how cold it is and driving in it. But yeah, that's so cute. Their whole roof is covered. It looks so cute with the little purple fairy lights. You look in the background, all the trees covered with snow. Oh, that is so cute. First, like, full snow that I've seen in The Sims 4 since I got Seasons. So basically everything here but the sunflowers and the sink are from what they just found. I'm just putting the frogs in Caleb's inventory so that they can make plasma packs from them. But yeah, everything else pretty much they just found. Um, I think I'm just going to sell most of this stuff. And then some of the crystals uh, Madeline can send to the Geo Council to help with her aspiration. So she's gonna send that one to the Geo Council, and then she should get like an element in the mail, which is another thing that she wants to achieve with her aspiration. Send that one too. Okay, so she just needs one more element in the mail, um, which should arrive tomorrow. And then she should have a complete collection of elements, I would hope. Unless she has to get like five different ones, and I know that sometimes they send like the same ones sometimes. So I'm just selling the rest of these. We don't really need them. We need the money more, I guess. For our rags to riches. I mean, okay, you guys. I asked this last time, but I didn't get the response. What is considered riches? What is our goal to get to? I was thinking maybe like 20000 in the bank. But, I don't know. I think that's, I don't know. I think that's what I'm going to go for. Um... <laughs> So I'm going to end this episode here. They're all flirty because of the, the little wine bottle thing here. Because that gives off flirty emotion. Anyway, I think I'm going to end this episode here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more and click the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.